Women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer have a good prognosis. However, more than 50% of recurrences and two out of three deaths occur after five years. Extended endocrine therapy starting at year five has been demonstrated to reduce this risk. Yet studies have shown that extended endocrine therapy benefits only about one in 22 to 27 treated patients. And the potential health risks of treatment are well documented. A higher risk of endometrial cancer and uterine sarcoma, thromboembolic events, ischemic heart disease, and osteoporosis and bone fractures, plus a high frequency of troublesome side effects, such as hot flashes, sexual dysfunction, arthralgias, and myalgias. For example, for every 600 women with ER-positive early-stage breast cancer treated with extended endocrine therapy, only 16 late recurrences were prevented at the cost of seven serious, potentially life-threatening complications. About half of these women will suffer from side effects that may significantly impact their quality of life. A major unmet need is how to reliably identify women who are at high risk of late recurrence and who are most likely to benefit from extended endocrine therapy. Until recently, no validated tests were available that could provide this important individualized information. Breast Cancer Index, or BCI, a novel second-generation gene expression assay, is actually two biomarker tests in one. BCI Prognostic reports the risk of late recurrence in lymph node negative patients. BCI Predictive, also known as the HI ratio, reports the likelihood of benefit from extended endocrine therapy in lymph node negative and patients with N1 disease. Studies of more than 1,500 patients, including three prospective randomized clinical trial cohorts, have validated the prognostic and predictive power of BCI. Patients with a low BCI prognostic score had only a 3.5% risk of late recurrence. Patients with a high BCI predictive score had a substantial five-year benefit from extended endocrine therapy. An absolute risk reduction of 16.5% and a relative risk reduction of 67%. In contrast, women with a low BCI predictive score derived no statistically significant benefit. BCI utilizes two sets of genomic biomarkers that assess different molecular pathways that may lead to recurrence. The proliferation-related gene expression is associated with early distant recurrence. The estrogen signaling biomarker in BCI is related to both early and late recurrence risk and likelihood of benefit from extended endocrine therapy. Importantly, BCI provides information that can help with treatment decisions for many patients. Close to half of patients score low on both BCI prognostic and BCI predictive. In combination with other factors, this may allow many oncologists to reasonably and confidently support their decision to stop endocrine therapy for this subset of patients after five years. About one quarter score high on both BCI components. Armed with this information, oncologists can strongly recommend extended endocrine therapy and tight adherence for this subset of patients. For women with ER-positive early-stage breast cancer, BCI is the only robust validated tool to support clinical decision-making that is both prognostic for late distant recurrence and predictive of likelihood of benefit from extended endocrine therapy. Breast Cancer Index is currently available for clinical use and is covered by Medicare.